Today we are installing one of these tasty morsels. It is the plug-in and drive ODB2 economy chip tuning box. It's a mouthful, isn't it? And what it is, it claims to save you money on your petrol because petrol is getting more and more expensive these days. It's getting the pain in the ass. The old instruction on the back, you can get them from eBay for about two pounds or three dollars. They're readily, readily available. If you get them from the UK, they're about five to ten pounds. But if you want to wait a month to a year, then get them from China. Anyway, this is what we do. We take it out of the box. Use a sweat. It's really hot on there. <clears throat> And we got this. Now, for the purposes of the video, I've already done this, so we're going to do this. We're going to take it apart to show you what is inside it. It's just like that. Look at that, lovely. And uh, yeah, it's a little tiny green chip board with a couple of chips on it and a flashing light. So, what you're going to do is a little hole there, you can get a dart in there, or do what I did, board a, pull it apart. I mean, that's weird, isn't it? Because in on the chip, well, actually, there's nitro. I never saw that before. Because I don't know if you saw my other video. I've done a nitro ODB2 one as well. And uh, to show you how to install it the right way. The right way it says anyway, it's on the back of this um, instruction manual, on the back of it. But yeah, very strange. There's nitro on there. So, hmm, a bit dubious. Anyway, to work. This goes in your ODB port, usually under the pedals or near the fuse box. This is a Honda FRV. So that is here. I do believe, I hope it is, just under there, that is in, and what's it doing? Not a lot. Right, so on the back of the box, it says put it in, start your car, but don't, don't need to start it, sorry, just put it into the second um, switch, so everything comes on, lovely, and we get down on the floor, and let's have a read, it says, so this is the common mistake. It says wait for 30 seconds. Well, actually, it's got to be about a minute for it to start working, right? And I'll show you the reason why. Now, if you can see it all lit up, that's claiming to be reading your ECU, but you've got to press the reset button. Now, the common mistake is you've got to hold this down for 10 seconds. Then they go. Then maybe it starts flickering again. So that's claims it's reading it. And there you go. That's installed. But now you've got to wait the minute. You saw the orange light go out there, you think that's done, because that's what it tells you on the box. But I know for a fact, we're doing tests with my um, TORG, this thing here. I've got the TORG app, the Mini ODB2 reader, and that um, sends me information from my ECU to my tablet through TORG, Google Play app. You can get the pro version for about £3, very good, very worth getting. It's brilliant, that, is tell that tells me my miles per gallon. See, now it's flashing on and off sort of like that. that means it's installed properly and it does work not as much as it claims though I mean, it claims here to, to save you was it 15 percent but to be honest you know i drive exactly the same way all the time it does save a little tiny bit of fuel but not as much as it claims i mean you could just say that you know this is wishful thinking you're driving differently because the chip's installed i've, I've got the proof of another, there's another video i've got that's with a Ford Galaxy VR6 using the Torg app on my channel. Give it a go, and that is uh, proof that these things do actually work. They're not as good as they say, but yeah, give it a go. It's cheap enough. As long as you install it correctly, it will work. Thank you very much.